Hello, it's uh, Nenime here. I just want to show my Raspberry Pi Pico Atari cart working today. As you can see, I've made a few of them. I've also got this circuit here, which connects a N64 controller into my Atari. I'm going to move the tape here so I can showcase. So we're going to turn the TV on, uh, which we're going to get static in a second once it turns on. And I'm going to plug the cart into the Atari here. As you can see, I'm not, you know, it is just a standard Atari 2600. There's nothing special about it. Uh, plug it in. And Halo 2600 loads up. And I can use my uh, N64 controller here, which is in my hand. Press a button, start wandering around. And that's being controlled by that circuit, as I said. Grab the gun, fire. Oh, don't hit the cart because you're going to turn the system off. <laughs> Turn it back on. See if I hit the cart, it screws it up. Anyhow, um, now that that's shown working, I'm going to take this cart and we're going to come this way and we're going to set it down and plug it into my computer here. Make sure I push the button down. Hard, hard to do this with uh, only two hands, so you can see it's plugged in now and uh, the little programming screens come up. I'm going to take this music and drag it over and this music by the way is called Kular Sample Me Again um, and it's actually really cool music so that's why I chose it and now that it's on the cart and programmed we're gonna unplug it and move this this way and plug it back into the Atari and Look at that, it's a whole different thing now, eh? <laughs> this is a really cool song, actually. I qu quite, quite enjoy it. Now, one of the limitations for this circuit so far is, um, Trying to make anything over 4 kilobytes stable. After 4KB, uh, because of timing issues, things like to go off the rails a lot. So I've actually gone and developed another cart, which is this one here, which is designed to handle all the bank switching that the Atari could throw at me, up to 64 kilobytes, um, or 64KB. After which, uh, I know there's some larger stuff out there, but it's not designed to handle anything larger. Uh, although it could be. <laughs> then the next thing I want to do before I make another, mill another cart for the Pico Pie, is I actually want to, uh, I actually want to take this design and add SRAM to it. So I'll be able to do high, high bank switching and have SRAM as well. Um, and once that's done, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the programming in the Pico and actually allow it to uh, read USB flash drives as well. So it'd effectively be an Atari flash drive. Anyhow, I just wanted to show this off quick because I'm quite proud of my work and uh, I want to share it with people. So I hope you enjoy.